Help! I'm frustrated and stressed out. Frustration and stress can suck the energy right out of you. Frustration can steal your time and impact your will to push through challenges. Stress can make you sick, literally. Most of the time, we cannot pinpoint exactly what has us frustrated or stressed out. But don't give up. Both frustration and stress can be reduced or resolved with coping techniques that can be easily learned. Stress and frustration are a normal part of life. Whether you are a kid in school, planning a wedding, having a baby, dealing with a job loss, facing a serious illness, or handling the death of a loved one. Frustration or stress may also cause you to feel anxious, irritated, or depressed. Stress can also have physical effects on your body, such as headaches, heartburn, pounding heart, insomnia, weakened immune system, high blood pressure, stomach ache, sexual dysfunction, and more. While frustration can have many of the same symptoms of stress, it can also lead to angry outbursts and aggressive behavior loss of confidence, and feelings of hopelessness. If stress or frustration that turns to anger continues and lasts more than a few weeks or starts to interfere with your home, school, or work life and all your efforts to reduce or manage stress have failed, you may need to seek medical advice. So, how can we manage frustration and stress? Try to pinpoint the source of frustration and stress in your life. Can you identify a likely cause? Is the frustration or stress widespread and you cannot remember the last time you had a break? Or is it related to a primary stressor such as changing jobs or an illness? While it helps to know the source of the stress or frustration to resolve long-term or chronic issues, the symptoms can be managed even if you have no idea why you're feeling this way. So let's look at eight ways to cope. Focus on the present. When you're worried, frustrated, or stressed, you're often thinking about what will happen in the future. But what about the here and now? Take a good look at the present. Focus on what is happening right now. Not five minutes from now, and certainly not next week or next year. Look out the window. Enjoy the rain or the sun. Go for a walk and focus on how you're feeling. Focus on how you're walking how many steps you're taking, or how your breath feels. For some, this sounds like utter hogwash and won't solve your problems. But really, will working yourself into a frenzy, suffering from high blood pressure and foggy brain help? Take a walk. Try it out. What do you have to lose? Sometimes you just need to get out of your own head to see things more clearly. Focus on what you can do right now. Make a list of things that you need or want to do and start ticking them off one at a time. Don't worry about the other items on the list. Focus on just one item at a time and give it all of your attention. Enjoy the little things. There are so many little things in life that can make a big difference in how we react to a situation. Listen to some background music. Laugh with a friend. Watch some comedy on TV or your favorite game. Take an aromatherapy bath or hang out in the hot tub. Read a book or maybe drink something soothing. It's so easy to get caught up in life that we forget that little things count. Exercise. Yes, we all know that exercise can help improve our sleep and a good night's sleep can make all the difference in the world. But what types of exercise should you consider for stress management? Any exercise that is vigorous enough that you cannot think of other things that contribute to stress is a great exercise to manage that stress. If when you're walking, all you can think about is the next test, a deadline missed at work, or a hydro bill, then walking is not the best exercise for you to control or manage your stress. If when jogging, all you can think about is keeping your pace, the next corner, or not falling over, then this is a great exercise to take your mind off your worries. Every person is different and therefore the exercise you need to reduce stress is also different. Consider, 
walking, jogging, or running. Meditation, dancing, swimming, yoga, martial arts, cycling, kickboxing, circuit training, or anything else that engages both your mind and your body. Just be careful not to exercise too close to bedtime as it may disrupt your sleep and a lack of sleep contributes to more stress. Exercise can also boost your mood as the body releases hormones to block pain and provide a euphoric feeling. Whatever works to take your mind off your worries is the right exercise for you. Eat, sleep, and breathe better. A healthy diet can improve your mental health, level your mood, build your immune system, and lower blood pressure. Don't forget high-quality antioxidant foods such as beans, fruits, berries, and vegetables to help protect your cells against the damage that chronic stress can cause. Struggling to fall asleep because your mind won't shut down? We've all been there. Are you too busy thinking about all the things that you need to do? Or the things that are happening around you that it interferes with your sleep? Lack of sleep enhances the negative stress cycle and can make you more cranky too. Deep breathing can help enhance your body's natural ability to relax. It sends more oxygen to your brain and helps you block out distractions and focus on the here and now while you breathe. Simply get comfortable, close your eyes, and place your hand on your belly. Take a deep breath and hold it for the count of 10. Then slowly exhale through your nose. Try it 10 times. You will feel your body start to relax after a few breaths. Keep it going for five or more minutes. Even those hardcore adrenaline junkies can relax with deep breathing exercises. And really, it's five minutes of your life. What do you have to lose by trying? Watch your vices. While it might seem logical to have a drink or mellow out with some recreational drugs, these substances can make stress worse in the long run. Sugar and caffeine can exacerbate our physical reactions to stress, even if it seems to make us feel better at the time. If you're frustrated, the use of drugs or alcohol can reduce your normal self-control and have the potential to increase aggressive or violent outbursts. Connect with supportive people. Speaking with someone, whether it's a friend, family member, or professional, can help bring issues into a different context. Often, our frustration and stress is a direct result of our home life or work life, which can sometimes make finding a sympathetic or helpful person to speak with difficult. This may be especially difficult if the cause of the stress or frustration is of a very personal or intimate nature. Seeking professional help is not a sign of weakness. It is a sign that you are taking your physical and mental health seriously and are truly willing to find ways to resolve or cope with the frustration and stress that you are dealing with. Get outside. Nature is good for both physical and mental health. Some of the positive effects of being outside in nature include vitamin D boost from sunlight, more movement. Few people just sit still when they're outside. Reset emotional balance. A change in scenery can help take your mind off your worries. Try a different perspective. It's not uncommon to jump to the worst possible outcomes in your mind when dealing with frustration and stress. Blowing things out of proportion will only intensify your stress and may lead to really bad decisions based on nothing. So stop, breathe, and ask yourself, what is the best possible outcome? The best coping strategies to manage frustration and stress are unique to you. Everyone is different and what works well for me may not be the best fit for you. Experiment to find out which tools can help manage life's challenges and keep frustration and stress to a manageable level.